goes. He's ready to rock, I could tell. Repent, you sinners! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we want to point out these no parking signs. There you go. And these are for this here truck with this license plate. At this address. On this block. I got a hold of cam. This official moment, on this day of days, why is this day special and different from any other day? It's the 3rd of May. And we are officially putting our magic sticks, the last things to put into the truck. Right? Amen. First, first the magic kiss. Magic belly rub. Okay. Okay. How do you go first? by the ladder. There you go. And this sacred stick, which I personally brought from Yosemite National Park on the airplane, I am now going to. You're defoliating the park. Yes. And no one gave him shit about it. It's always room for a stick on the truck. Now, see, I would have thrown it, but if I broke the ceiling, I'd have to. No, it. we don't want to do that. Okay. Probably not very now I will take now I will take off my headphones. Take off your headphones. And, my and your knee pads. Show those gorgeous legs. Gorgeous, gorgeous. For the Saleti treasures. True. <laughs> Lock her up. Dino, hook him. And now, the final hug. All right. My buddy. What else? <laughs> you, any, anybody else? Yeah, one more person. We just do it so that we can get hugs, you know? Yay. There we go. And we're not really going. We're just not. It it's official so, now. Yeah. It's official. It's official. <laughs> Very good. OK, now, there's a silver button right behind the zoom lens. Silver <laughs> button right behind <laughs> the zoom lens. Like, you see, you see what it's like? Formaggio. Formaggio. <laughs> Two. I'll push it all the way down. Oh, right, those little red dots are going away. So what are we doing here? We are pumping gas. How much gas are we going to use? We are going to take about 45 gallons. Well, we're almost halfway there. We're going to have to mortgage the farm. <laughs> I thought we were going to build the farm with all these seeds. Yeah, right. But that's that fine print, yeah, right? seeds in the pack. Oh, there's 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's that giant sucking sound. So what do you want to eat for dinner? Olive Garden sound good? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Olive Garden's Italian, right? Yeah. Pasta. Are you, more of a, are you more of a Denny's person? We have Denny's over here. Denny's. There's Taco Bell. Hey. 
They, they had that dog, right? Oh, yeah, right. All of a sudden, they've made the chihuahuas popular. <laughs> that's, a, that's if you're crying. <laughs> High-tempered beast. Remember the, remember the ones that the Bernie had? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take the finger. That they fed chocolate to. 4685, we're going to 47. Then, let's see, what was that restaurant at Ron and the Boulevard? Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, Bex? No, further up. Oh, Ron and the Boulevard. Yeah. yeah, you remember Bex. We went there with Aunt Rano and his wedding. Your mother and I yeah. treated them to a breakfast or a brunch, or whatever you want to call it. And you were there. You were, I guess, about two years old then. But that was New Year's Day. Instead of going, this is before we started to go down to the parade. You guys were smart. He's taking pictures for his wife. She was supposed to be with us and she couldn't, she couldn't make the trip by car or by truck. So we're, we're filming it for her. Yeah, she's, she's pregnant and the truck is too bumpy. Oh, how, how far along is she? She's five. She's right at, half, at the halfway mark. The plates okay. It's your first one? Yep. How exciting. See, I've been watching this baby over there to get lessons. You know. <laughs> I have a four month old. Four month old? Four year old and a four month old. Oh, you don't need that old. Please, I started late. Yeah, yeah, I want any I, I'm starting later. Uh, I am too. Yes, I'll I'm have too. a little cheese. I started later too. Good. Did you want some cheese on your Sure, please. Look at that cheese. Yeah. Do you know what you're having, boy, girl? Doesn't no. matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can't know because I can't keep a secret. She doesn't want to know. Yeah. Didn't know on my first one. The second one I found out. And I was good. We were going to keep it a secret. My husband couldn't stand it. So that's exciting. Once you know it, it's always his wife wouldn't let him tell her, her, tell her, her own mother. Until she was, what, four months? No, three. Three months. Yeah. And we're all biting our tongue. It's hard. You're so excited, no. and it just seems like eternity. So where were we? Oh, well, anyway, we went to this restaurant on the boulevard. And it was the day after New Year's. Oh, it was New Year's Day, actually. And, of course, they had had their New Year's Eve parties there. And, of course, once again, we were there very early. And when we sat down, there was a champagne bucket, ice bucket behind us, and it was still full of water from the night before. The ice had melted. And it fell over and spilled water all over the place. There was nothing. And that, that fell over by itself. We didn't. No, we bumped it. Not not oh. kids. We just bumped it as we moved chairs around. I, I don't know. Who, uh, it was nuts. But uh, you know, it was one of those things that just stuck in my mind. When I went to, to Michael's a few weeks ago to pick up the glass, it was late. So we uh, we went over to the diner there at Frankfurt and uh, it was Frankfurt and Levitt mm -hmm. that we used to go on Friday nights. Oh, um, it's called the Carillon then. Not anymore. It's new something or other. Huh? Red, Robin, Red Robin or something like that. So that was kind of reminiscent. Michael, of course, remembers all of that stuff. Yeah. I remember going there or someplace once and ordering, wanting to order corned beef, thinking it was like sloppy joes with corn in it. Oh. Because I didn't know what corned beef was. Mm -hmm. Want to try one of these raviolis? Really good. Here. You want to try some of my egg plate? Sure. Put it right there. Yeah. Here we go, maybe in the summer. I went to this resale shop and I saw that red record player. Uh -huh. Now, when I was a kid, I thought that thing was big. I thought, why, why would they possibly have made a big plastic 
jukebox record. When I saw how big it was, it was only this high. It was like maybe two feet off the floor, maybe. So I thought, I think it was M and E or something like that. You know, just a single manual record player. Was there a toy store at that mall where Grant's was? That strip mall there? It was. It was, right? It might have been there. Something diner. It's called a diner. It's not Olga's. No, 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 no. This is further down. This is Hammond. They make good pasta, and their salads are just wonderful. But the place, like I said, inside is a dump. Not very big, mm -hmm. but very good pasta. And that's in a while we stopped there. We have a place on First Avenue we went to. That's where we took all our friends. Nothing fancy, not in any way. But the food is good. Yeah. The guy who's the owner's there on Saturday, his name is Vinny, his son is there. They make their own Sicilian pizza only on Saturdays. It's got, um, it's kind of like an anchovy breadcrumb kind of tomato topping. But it's just anchovies for flavoring. It's, you don't see them. Well, this they, place, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. This place, like I said, the salads are excellent. They give you a big bowl like this. And they probably have all the stuff from the local farm. Yeah, right? nice big loaf of bread. That they make themselves. Mm -hmm. And they're possible. It ends up we playing half of it home because you just can't eat it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So you drive all the way down there on the way back from Atlantic City or what? On the way to Atlantic City we do. <laughs> Two years ago we stopped there on New Year's Eve on the way down. It was mom. On New Year's Eve? Mm -hmm. People from Atlantic City? No, oh, people either going or going out to dinner before they went to wherever they were going. Doris called me on the phone and told me that her water broke and Frank Runo was taken into the hospital. He was a nurse man. <laughs> Poor Frank. So he took her down to the hospital. By the time I got there, he was already born. And Michael was the same way. Quick. She had no problems with it. And me? Longer, shorter? No, I don't think she had a tough time with you. I think her problem with you was the more unexpected, the unexpected, not you knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. She was apprehensive. Once she, you know, uh, once she got her in the hospital, she was fine. She just didn't know what to expect at home. You know, she had the, the labor pains and her recovery more frequently. Mm -hmm. So she was concerned. But once she got into the hospital, you know, you did you take her to the hospital any time? Yeah, I took her that time. And I think that was the only time I took it. Which time did I stay with uh, the McGorries? Was that Paul or Michael? Michael? No, they were both. They were both born. But no, one time that you took me to McGorries to, while yes. she was in the hospital. While she was in the hospital for uh, uh, tests. Mm. Uh, I have a cappuccino. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a cup of coffee in the car. Just to keep us awake. They were going to just drive two more hours. So it was um, when Michael was born that I stayed with McGorry's or Paul? No. You stayed at McGorry's. Michael and Paul stayed down at Aunt Marion's. Paul did. Both of them. Michael was an infant. Paul was like two years old. She went into the house and before she, I know how she was, she always thought she had cancer. No, but I mean, when the, when Michael was born, I stayed with the oh, oh, right? Oh, oh. Or was it Paul? It was Michael. Oh, I, I don't remember that. I just remember that McGorry served me spaghetti and meatballs, and it was the most horrendous thing I ever ate in my <laughs> life. And it took me forever to get it down. They put sugar in the sauce. Well, Jane puts a tad of sugar, too, because it takes a party to sound. It depends on what tomatoes you use. I don't, I don't 
remember that. Uh, let's see. Are oh, you talking about when mom went for some tests or something? Yeah. That, that was when she, every, every little ache or pain that she had kept telling her that she had some kind of cancer. So they, uh, they put her in the hospital for three days, took all kinds of tests, they all came back negative. And, you know, I said, honey, you're okay. She's, she was still apprehensive. And after she left the hospital, she said, you know, I forgot to tell you about this pain I had. She just was so sure at that time. That because her mom died of it, right? Yeah. And the way her sisters talked about it, she was only a little girl. So she didn't really wasn't aware of what was going on. No, but they talked about it in such a way that it, it preyed on her mind so that she never forgot it. Of course, her mother died at 39, and she swore she was going to die at 39. Yeah. Well, she lived to 43, 44, whatever. Not much more, but... Strange. Yeah. Hard to believe it. This year she's dead 20 years. 20 years. I, uh, I just bought a mess. I just had a mask set for her, but unfortunately, I waited too long. You gotta do these things six months in advance or better if you want a specific day. Yeah. So the best I could do was our anniversary, September 11th. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say. I need your apple juice. Okay. I'll never forget the, the, the fact that you uh, showed up that day. Yeah. Quite out of the blue. Yeah, it was funny because I was, we were driving up from Florida. When I was right. in D.C., I thought, you know, I could do this. So on the way to New York, right. you know, I take the guys over for a bite to eat or whatever at uh, Sizzler or Rustler or whatever it was. Right, Rustler's. That was just, the timing was just incredible. Yeah. Ready, man? Oh, yeah, man. I got to catch up on the news. I see the paper for three the, days. Our senior okay. commanders uh, showed, I think, their professionalism in their briefings. Uh, the key uh, understanding is that they serve under civilian command. Why should I get both? Yeah. Oh, you did? I did, because I know how much you'd like a little ice cream. Oh, you're sweet. Uh -huh. I need an ice cream song, huh? I'm only going to ask you one thing. What's that? You're not going to want all of that, right? No, that's a lot. Okay, would you take that whole thing and stick it in there? Absolutely. That's great. I did wash my hands. I believe. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What's that? Using that. When your father was alive, did you show each other pictures. your writing before it was published? Um, yes, we did. Absolutely. And were, were you honest with each other? You know, it's, it's hard sometimes when you're really close to someone and they give you their work. 
if there's something that you don't think works, it's it could be hard to be honest. Hello there. Go in, Polly. I get to go for a ride. Is it? Are you coming too? No. Oh. We'll be right back. Just once around the block after Betsy moves her car.